What's going on guys, this is Foresight Capital and today we're going to take a look at the summary of Palantir's Q4 earnings report and talk about some of their updated expectations for 2021 and how that could play out for the stock price moving forward. We'll also take a look at the stock chart today and talk about some of the key levels that are coming back into play now that Palantir closed down over 12% on the day after announcing their earnings report. And we'll talk about how ARK Invest is coming in and buying the dip yet again on Palantir, raising the weighting within their portfolios and signaling that they're still very bullish on Palantir, at least in the short term. All that I ask is if this video brings you value, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. We do deep dives on Palantir all the time and also do deep dives on other stocks just like this. And if you've yet to check out the Discord yet, it's growing very rapidly. We've got well over 200 active members, a ton of great traders, a ton of great conversations going on. And I put out watch lists all the time of stocks that I'm looking to buy or sell along with their corresponding charts. We've had a lot of great picks so far this year with the portfolio being up around 20 so if any of that is interesting to you, definitely check that out in the link in the description below. If we take a look at Palantir's price action for the day, we can see that it sold off nearly every single hour of the day, touching both key pricing levels throughout the trend for the day. We saw a bit of a run towards $33.50 per share in the early morning hours, but once the actual earnings report came out, we saw a huge sell-off and then a slow bleed throughout the day, coming back down to rest just above $27.70 per share, which we've talked about so many times on this channel as probably the biggest key support level for Palantir moving forward. It's been used as resistance many times in the past and support for many hourly candles, and it keeps coming Coming back into play for this stock until we can finally break away from it for good. What was very interesting was that we actually saw some periods of very high volatility throughout the day where we saw an initial sell-off down to about $28 per share in the 8 a.m. hour, just about an hour and a half before the market opened, and the price quickly snapped back up almost $2 per share to close out the candle at right at $30 per share, and then we saw a bit of a run-up in the next hourly candle to set a high of about $30.50 per share before seeing the rest of the hourly candles once the market opened actually sell off. So there were some periods where it looked like buyers were potentially going to come back in and prop up the price of Palantir throughout the day. And that's very good news for the stock moving forward and actually shows that this $27.70 per share level could hold. There are a lot of stop losses around this level and a lot of people who were looking to enter right around this level as well. We also know that ARK Invest purchased over 1.5 million shares worth of Palantir, which we'll talk about a little later on in the video after we talk a little bit about the earnings, but all of this seems to be a very bullish setup. Now I want to talk about this early in the video on my thoughts on where the stock is going to go. Personally, if you're looking to buy Palantir, I think that the discount is good right now. You might see a bit more of a sell-off as we head into the lockup expiration period, but with retail exuberance behind the stock and with ARK Invest coming in and buying shares before the lockup expiration, that's showing that they potentially don't think that we're going to see that much more downside for the stock. We've also seen the stock sell off heading into lockup expiration, so there's going to be a lot less meat on the bones for those who might be looking to sell. Of course, they're up still over 300% for the most part on their shares, but they have recently seen highs of about $45 per share, and it would almost seem silly to sell a large portion of their shares at nearly a 50% discount from recent highs. So personally, I think that this is a great opportunity to buy Palantir if you love the stock and you've done the research on it and you know that it's a company that you feel great to hold long term. I'm personally not buying until we see a bit more of a sell-off, closer to $25 per share, but that's because my shares are owned at well under $24 per share and I don't want to average up too much. But that's just my personal thoughts on the stock. Just wanted to get that out of the way in case you had to click off the video. I won't sit and dissect the whole Q4 earnings report because we already know that Palantir had a very successful quarter in year with full year revenues up 47% and Q4 revenues up 40% and they're also guiding ahead for Q1 of 2021 to be another 45% year over year increase. All of that is absolutely insane coupled with their average revenue per customer growing, their client base expanding and they're really reaching new clients in the commercial sector which is what investors have been asking for for quite some time. 
where I really think that Palantir came up just a bit short or actually in line is with their projections for the full year 2021. So analysts were expecting for Palantir to fall somewhere in the 1.4 billion to 1.5 billion range for revenue for 2021. And Palantir guided right around that level at about $1.42 billion. That's right in line with analyst expectations. But what we have to factor in is that a lot of this was already priced in because analysts have been pegging this number really for the past month and a half to almost two months, basically since Q3 earnings were actually announced. What we also have to factor in, though, is that a lot of Palantir's contracts that came in Q4 weren't included in those projections. So we had the PG&E contract, we had the BP contract, we had U.S. Army actually re-upping their contract, and all of that wasn't factored into the $1.4 billion estimates that we were getting for 2021 already. So when we factor those in, we really should probably be a little closer to the $1.5 or $1.6 billion range, and Palantir guided just below that. Now, they may be guiding below so that they can absolutely blow earnings out of the water next year, and it doesn't take a lot of new contracts to reach very much higher levels of revenue, but I think that it fell up a bit short in the way that it was actually announced to the market today. However, we can see that they had a very successful quarter here, and one thing that's been coming up a lot that, of course, I can't skip over is that they actually had a profitable quarter if we back out the stock-based compensation. So we can see here that the loss from operations was about $156 million, but if we go ahead and back out the $241 million that was given away in stock-based compensation, then we actually have a profitable quarter for Palantir. Now, we can't just go and back out realistic expenses that Palantir has incurred as a result of operations, but a lot of this stock-based compensation is going to continue to fall off as we get further and further from the direct public offering. There's always going to be stock-based compensation expenses, but not to the tune of $240 million per quarter. So overall, Palantir had a profitable operation quarter outside of the stock-based compensation expense. They guided forward with absolutely insane growth, and they had a very solid quarter with a very solid balance sheet to go along with that that I think is going to propel them for m many quarters to come. I think the only way that we really fell short from this earnings report is the fact that they failed to guide just a bit above analyst expectations, but I would rather them under-promise and over-deliver and us get a big stock run-up in the future now that we've seen this compressed price than it be the other way around. And we have to talk about ARK Invest buying operations in Palantir because we saw them plow $45.2 million from ARK W into Palantir today to purchase over 1.5 million shares of Palantir. What's very important to note here is that this is the second highest weight of all time that Palantir has been within ARK W and the only time that it's traded higher was back on January 27th at 1.21%, but that was when Palantir was trading at $39 per share. So this is by far the biggest position that ARK Invest has ever had in Palantir, both in total dollar terms, but also in waiting outside of one day. And if we take into account the pricing difference, this is by far a much more substantial position. The last time that ARK Invest actually purchased large quantities of Palantir was back on January 13th and 14th when we saw them purchase about $13 million over a two-day period when Palantir was down about $5. So we can see that they love to buy the dip and really add to their overall position. I think that this is very important for retail traders and why earlier in the video I mentioned that if you're looking to buy the dip on Palantir, now might be a good opportunity. I personally am not looking to add, and I personally think we might see a bit more weakness and a test of this $24.60 per share level indicated by this yellow line, but it's starting to look like we might not see that with retail exuberance coming back with some of the big price pushes that we saw throughout the day when the price did fall, and with ARK Invest coming in and announcing 1.5 million shares purchased and a $45 million bet on Palantir. We know that Kathy Wood likes to provide outsized returns, and if they honestly thought that Palantir had the potential to fall 20 or 30 or 50 percent, like some people are saying will happen at the lockup expiration, they probably wouldn't have bought right now. 
but the fact that the price is compressed and there's not as much meat on the bone for some of the executives to really take off when they're looking at the stock being down so much from recent highs, I don't know that we see as much of a sell-off. And I think that 2770 could be a very great level to purchase and hold for Palantir for the long term. So I really hope that this video brought you some value. If you'd like, actually leave a comment down below if you want me to do a deeper dive on the Q4 earnings report. I wanted to keep the video rather brief, and I know a lot of people have already covered it by the time I get this video out. But again, if you want to see me do more in-depth research on the Q4 earnings report and give more thorough thoughts, leave that in the comments down below. Again, don't forget to check out the Discord if you've yet to join. ton of great conversations going on there, and it's growing very rapidly. In fact, some of the spots are limited and filling up quickly. And I really appreciate you watching until the end. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Catch you in the next one.